What's up, Supermoto Bros? Welcome back to another episode of this Supermoto bike build. And today, I'm going to be explaining to you guys what Tokyo Mods did to my motor. Big shout out to all the partners of this bike build. Without them, this project would not be possible. And big thanks to Tokyo Mods for sponsoring today's video and building our motor. Do you want your 450 to be an absolute rocket ship? Then send your motor to Tokyo Mods. Justin does absolutely amazing work and has built all of my motors in the past. He built my old Honda 450 Supermoto bike. He built my new Honda 450 for American Flat Track and now this new Honda 450 for Supermoto. So we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper onto the specifics of what Justin actually did to this bike here. He ported and polished the motor. He put a high compression piston 14 and a half to one in there. He put new valves, new valve springs. He put an aftermarket cam and their own Tokyo Mods Vortex ECU. So unfortunately I haven't been able to ride this bike yet, but I do have experience with the other two bikes, my old Supermoto bike and the National Flat Track bike that he did build, and there is a noticeable difference in the motor. The bike pulls hard off the corners, harder down the straightaways, and I'm I'm 200 pounds, so I'm, I'm just six foot four, I'm a tall guy, so I need that extra little bit of horsepower to keep me up with those smaller guys, and, and definitely, Justin did a great job building these motors. If you guys are enjoying the Supermoto bike build video series, Throw a subscribe down and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future episodes. If you liked today's video, please drop a like down below and share this video with a friend that's building their own super motorbike. If you don't have a DID racing chain on your bike, go to their website and buy one right now. Their gold chain is the best one on the market and the only one that I trust to run on all my motorcycles. So big thanks to DID chain for their support in this project. And big thanks to DT1 air filters for hooking me up with some of the best air filters in the game. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. I'll catch you Supermoto Bros in the next one.